The reality is nothing is hack proof, but I wanna go over some tips on how to keep things hack resistant. And in this case, we're talking about connected baby monitors. Let's go. As we see more people adopting connected monitors and baby nurseries, we're also seeing an increase in camera hackings in the news. Even though they're rare, it'll definitely shake you up if it does happen to your family, so what can you do to try preventing it? First, consider getting a non-connected monitor. If it's not connected to the internet, you're drastically decreasing your risk for a hack. Traditionally, these monitors lack in quality and have less features, but I think Eufy is one of the few out there that's up to par. Now, obviously you have a limited range compared to Wi-Fi options, but from a security standpoint, these monitors are much more difficult to exploit. Now, if you're going with a connected option, regardless of brand, Nest, Arlo, Outlet, Wise, whatever, they're all susceptible to hackings. But there is one thing that you can do, and it's so easy and so overlooked, and that's creating a strong, unique password for your camera. Something long, alphanumeric, peppered with symbols, it may feel inconvenient, but it'll feel just as inconvenient for hackers who mostly look for an easy way in. Also, if you do have Nest, take the time to enable two-factor authentication as it adds another layer of protection. Now it's easy to blame your camera, but a lot of your focus needs to be put on your router as well. Whether or not you got it from a service provider or you went with your own, take the time to change the default name and password of your network. Again, make it complex and unique from the password of your camera. A ton of cameras get hacked simply because these things were never customized and it's important that you do so. Also, it's easy to brush off firmware updates, but keeping your router updated will ensure that it has the latest features, improved performance, and security settings. If you're unsure how to do this, I have links below to instructions of some of the most popular brands, so go check that out. Next tip, set up a firewall, which is a layer of security between your home network and the internet. Most routers have one built in that can be enabled, or you can have another device setting up that firewall, but regardless, not having one leaves your network vulnerable. Not just your cameras, but everything from credit card information to browsing history, everything. Lastly, while it doesn't necessarily help with security cameras, getting a VPN or a virtual private network is a helpful step in securing your browser information by keeping you anonymous, hiding your location, or even giving you access to your home network while you're traveling. Now, there are different ones out there. I like PIA, but do some shopping. Ultimately, it'll help protect your privacy. That's all I've got for you guys. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more reviews and videos for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless guys. Later.